Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of my Arsenal career mode on FIFA 18. I want to say a massive thank you once again to everyone watching and supporting this series. It's always incredible, the Arsenal career mode. I know it's become tradition, and I want to say a thank you to everyone supporting it. Um, and if you're new around here, make sure you have subscribed and turn on those notifications as well. You will never miss an episode. Now, at the start of this one, before this Swansea game... Um, I wanted to show you a new feature in FIFA 18 that some of you might not have seen already, and that is transfer negotiations outside of the transfer window. So you'll notice in real life this happens quite a lot. Most recently, uh, Chelsea have decided to sell Diego Costa to Atletico Madrid, and the deal is already done. He just won't move until the window opens. And you can do that in FIFA 18 now as well. So in my transfer hub, I have four players shortlisted. I got a bit confused in the last episode. I thought it was Timo Horn that's got six months remaining on his contract in January, but actually it's Leno. So I think I'm going to be making a move for him in January, but there is one player that I would like to sign now, but obviously I won't get him. What I'm worried is, and I've seen it happen already a few times in other career modes that I've done, players sign up for, for other, other clubs before the window opens. So if you approach them, it says you can't, you know, he's already signed for this team. So I want to get in there as soon as I can. And this is a player that I'm interested in. He plays for Toulouse. He is a French right back. And I think he's a perfect backup to Bellerin. This guy, I believe, has a very high potential, around 86, 87. Um, I don't know off by heart, though. So what we're going to do is approach to buy. Um, now, what we can do here is skip the club negotiations because he has a release clause of 15.7 million. The thing is, I reckon I can get him cheaper and I don't think I've got enough money to straight up buy his release clause out. So let's just double check that. 15.7 million. Yeah, we don't. We do not have enough money to do that unless I adjust the wage budget. But to be fair, like I said, I reckon we can get a better deal. So I'm going to go ahead, approach to buy and no begin negotiations with the club. The option's still there, but if I screw this up, I won't be able to sign him. So again, this is outside of the transfer window. This is a new feature. It's really cool, but also it kind of sucks because some players that you want to buy, they just disappear. So let's go ahead and offer a transfer fee. Or do I do I want... I could do offer Debushi, couldn't I? Let's see if they will take Debushi off me. Uh, he's worth 4.3 million. So let's see what happens here. And they're looking to bring in a right winger. Do I have any other right wingers really that I would want to sell? I mean, Theo Walcott, I, I, I don't particularly want him, but I don't really want to sell him. I, it's a bit of a weird one that he's the longest serving Arsenal player in the club right now. And obviously these two players we're definitely not getting rid of. So unfortunately, it is going to be a transfer fee. So current value is six. Obviously, he's a young player. He's playing, I think, in their first team. I'm not 100% sure, though. I'm going to go in with a really strong offer. I'm going to go in with 7.5 million. And let's see if they're willing to take that. I can always sweeten the deal a little bit, maybe with a sell-on clause. What are they going to say? Oh, wow. I'm... Pleasantly surprised. I was expecting him to come back and say, now nah, we want about nine, maybe ten. And I still would have done it. But there you go. We have already negotiated with the club. It's now time to talk with the player and his agent. So uh, let's see if we can get lucky once again and strike a deal. So he's currently on 11,500 per week and his squad role is sporadic. Let's go ahead and offer him sporadic. Actually, no, I think... Okay, that's what he wanted, sorry. I don't know what he was before. But that's fine. Sporadic is absolutely perfect. How many years we want to sign him for? I'm going to go with five just because he's a youngster. He's only 19 years old and he's happy with that. That's good. Uh, we're going to disregard the release clause. We don't want any of the big clubs swooping in and stealing him from us. So currently 11,500 per week. I think, I think if I offer him a solid 15, he's probably going to accept it. And it's not really much for us. I'm going to offer him... 250k as a signing bonus as well, which uh, is a nice little bit of money for a 19-year-old. Could buy a small little house with that in England. Yeah, probably a one-bedroom shack in London. A <laughs> shack, a garage. Let's see, what's it going to be? Oh, wow, and straight away, maybe we're slightly overpaying, but do you know what? It wasn't expensive, and we've signed one of the best right-backs. Well, but one of the best young right-backs in the game. So he will join as soon as the transfer window opens. We've signed a right back, and I'm very pleased with that. We can now sell Debushi and have backup arriving as soon as we uh, enter the window. Now, with Leno, obviously, we can't sign him yet. Um, even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to afford 
him, but we can approach him for free as soon as the window begins, as long as he hasn't signed with someone else. I think he could be the perfect Czech replacement. He is 85 rated, very nice. Of course, Rabio and Kimpembe we've still got on the list, but we're not looking to sign those guys just yet. I don't think we'll sign them at all, to be fair. Uh, but next, Swansea at home. They're actually doing very well this season. Nine games, 15 points. They're sitting in sixth. Let's get another win. Now, over the years, I have found Swansea to be a bit of a bogey team for me. And they have signed a fantastic player on loan. You just saw his name there. Renato Sanchez from Bayern. Unbelievable bit of, uh, bit of business from Swansea. That's a good tackle from Mustafi. And that's going to be a throw. Um, so I feel like I do need to be careful, especially with Wilfred Bonny up front as well. He's uh, a bit of a tank, isn't he? Oh, that's a good cross. Jeez, Swansea do look dangerous, you know. But now we can get on the break. Let's give that to Meza Ozil. That is a lovely pass from Alexis. Give it to Lacazette. Wasn't the greatest of passes into him, though. But it's okay. We've still got the ball here. Goretzka getting through players. Over to Alexis. Hits it across goal. Fabianski with another save. What a start he's made to this game. Here comes Swansea again. The cross comes in. Britain wins it. One of the smallest players on the pitch. But it was easily saved. Right, okay, now let's get on the attack again. Alexis Sanchez to Lacazette. Put it through for Sanchez again. This is more like it. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Try and get a cross in now. For Meza Ozil, too close to the keeper. Right, okay, we are now in the second half. Hasn't been the best performance again. I feel like I'm very inconsistent at the moment. But we're not losing the game. Let's throw that to Goretzka. Over to Xhaka. Now over to the left side. Here is Kolasinac. Get it in for Lacazette. Go on, Laka. So close. I don't feel like crossing is working for me, but there's something about FIFA 18 and crosses. They're so addictive. The way they curl in, I do love it. The gameplay is really good for crossing. It really is. And, of course, with uh, wingbacks running up the field, you do get a lot, of, a lot of opportunities to cross it. Let's just say that. 68 minutes in. It's all Swansea right now. They've got a free kick. It's not the best of deliveries. Oh, my God. God, Meza Ozil, just do not rely on him to defend. He's useless at that. In fact, I might take him off. He's not had a good game today. Although now I've said that, he's through on goal potentially. He's not the quickest. Come on, just keep going. Now finish it. No. Fabianski just turns into Manuel Neuer whenever we play him. That's a lovely ball. Kolasinac, nicely done. Come on, Alexis. Come on. I need Lacazette to pull back. Pull back. There we go. Inside again. Ramsey. No, it's Bellerin. Bellerin scores! He's playing right mid, he's pushing further forward, and it has worked. Another late goal, guys. I was sure that was Aaron Ramsey, but Bellerin, I don't care who it is, as long as they score. Bit of a cheesy goal this, but look how much space he had. Great finish into the bottom corner, and that should be another three points. We are so jammy right now. We are playing badly, but winning games? It doesn't make sense. I think the referee's going to blow his whistle. Just two minutes added on. Koscielny's won it anyway. Oh, I just wanted one more attack. But guys, again, very, very lucky. I need to sort out something. The, the form I'm producing is terrible. It's so inconsistent. But luckily, we're still getting results. Going back into some training now. Oh, it won't be hit 76. Okay, that's brilliant. He has hit 76. We can take him out next time. Um, Nelson almost 68. I still cannot believe how fast he is growing. But up next, guys, we're going into the Europa League away against Ghent. And then we have Man City. So uh, things are definitely going to heat up. But look at this. Player of the month. Well done, Alexandra Lacazette. Very, very good indeed. Love these animations and cutscenes and stuff. Such a nice little addition. And he has been great for us. He has been very, very good. So I'm actually going to simulate this game away against Ghent using my second team. We've smashed them 3-0. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. If anything, I was expecting a draw. Um, but a Welbeck goal and a double by Iwobi does give us another three points. I'm wondering, actually, does that put us at the top of the group? Let's have a look. We are indeed, but just by goal difference. So uh, Cologne are right on us. Three wins, one draw. That's exactly what we've got. We need to make sure we win our next two games. Because if we do go through in first, it does mean we're going to get, hopefully, an easier opponent. And let's be honest, we're favourites for the tournament. So even if we finish second, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. But I would like to finish in first. So now it's time for Man City away from home. You can see I've made a change. Welbeck is playing at right wing today. Purely because he's going to be up against Mendy 
And obviously Sanchez is going to be up against Walker. They're probably playing three at the back, Man City. So I think Meza Ozil will just get crowded out. I can always bring him on if I want to. But other than that, I've pushed Kolasinac and Bellerin forward again. I'm hoping it's going to be enough to get us another win. I'm not particularly looking forward to this game because Man City, although they've started poorly, have one of the best teams in the game. There's no doubt about it. So... This, this could be horrendously bad. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm not very confident right now. So it looks like they're going with 5-3-2 with Aguero and Jesus up front. In fact, I believe I can show you if I go to player ratings and then over to Man City. There you go. Exactly what I predicted. Although they haven't gone with Mendy. They've signed Bernat from Bayern Munich. And they've got... Is that... Is that... I can't tell who's that, who's that centre-back. Let's just double-check that. I'm pretty sure that was Martinez, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's just double check this. They do have Javi, Mar Javi Martinez, very decent signing for them. So yeah, very strong. Could be a very difficult game this. Already we're under attack with Aguero, I think that is. Into Jesus, poor first touch though. Allows Van Dijk to get in there. When playing against five at the back, it can be very, very, very difficult to break through. And it's very compact. So what I found is doing a lot of one-twos is a great way of getting through. We might be in here, actually. Here's Lacazette. Try and get a ball in on the ground. Welbeck was in there. It was not a bad cross at all, but couldn't quite get the shot away. And here's, here's a guy that could. Granit Xhaka. Now Alexis. <laughs> it's blocked. Exactly as I just said. It gets so crowded in there, but I'm going to have to find a way through somehow. Here's Kolasinac. That's going to be a foul, surely. Okay, we're playing on. Lovely ball into Xhaka. Here's Alexis now. Lovely turn inside, but too strong, Javi Martinez. He's such a good defender in this game. Let's pass that down the wing here. Okay, Alexis, make your run. Actually, in fact, I think Lacazette can just keep going here. Javi Martinez may be good, but he's slow. Inside for Welbeck. What are you doing? Oh, my God, Danny Welbeck. Oh, another chance, Lacazette. And again. Oh, jeez. What, what is Welbeck doing? How are you not shooting from there the ball was right in front of him oh, that's a nice ball here's Danny Welbeck again come on let's shoot oh it's actually on target <laughs> okay I'm gonna stop being mean about him because Welbeck's actually been good for me so far in this career mode but today in this game he's doing exactly what he does best in real life and that's getting all the chances and missing them all just a couple of minutes until half time got a lucky deflection on that oh my god that could have easily been an own goal I've just given it straight back to Walker. Here's Cunaguero to Jesus. Oh, I've missed the tackle off the post. And the rebound goes over. Oh, my God. I'm so lucky. I didn't mean to skip that. I wanted to see it again. Jeez. We may hit the post a lot, but so do the CPU in fairness. And that is half time. What a game so far. Oh, my God. I cannot tackle him. Oh, you're kidding me. What is that? What is that? I've won the tackle and the ball just goes straight to them. Same old problems in FIFA for me. Defensively, I'm look at that. I've, I've made the interception and, well, I guess you could say it's an interception. It's a block. It's not really a tackle. So it's not like the ball should stay to my feet. You know, what can I do about that? 1-0 down after a pretty decent performance so far, to be fair. Oh, okay. Other than that, basically anything through Danny Welbeck has gone wrong today. Do you know what? I'm taking him off now. I'm not even going to try. Welbeck is coming off and Meza Ozil is coming on. And he's got a chance to prove to me why he should start at right wing. Because some games he's brilliant, some games he's not. But Welbeck doesn't work there. He has to be up front. Before he goes off though, he might get one last chance. Let's put him through. Okay, this is good. Try and shoot and score. Okay, never mind. Good save by Edison. That wasn't even a bad shot in fairness. I can't be angry at him. Okay, cross coming in from the corner. It's decent. Oh, Martinez, go away. Oh, that's a good ball. That is brilliant. Come on, Lacazette. Just don't stop running. They've taken Ozil out, but it shouldn't matter. Come on. Yes. Oh, I was about to go mental. I thought I missed. I thought it went wide. But Lacazette, boys, come on. What a signing, man. So pleased we've got him. And this was with his weaker left foot, I believe. Look at company just take Ozil out. That's terrible, but what a finish. What a finish. Another goal for player of the month for September, Mr. Lacazette. Well played. Just don't do anything stupid now. A draw would be a very decent result at the Etihad. I just cannot afford to concede again. Yes, Van Dyke. In fact, we might even get on the break here. 
They've put so many players forward. Look on the left side. Alexis just stopped his run. What are you thinking? Try and put it through for Lacazette. He's in. Lacazette. No. No, that was it. That was my chance. I might not get a better chance than that. Oh, I'm gutted I didn't score that one. Free kick here for Man City. It's not a very good one, though. It's not going to go anywhere. Lacazette should be able to win that. Just keep going. Right, I need players to get forward, please. Come on. Everyone, let's make a run. We could potentially win it here. Okay, we got very lucky there. Alexis, through for Lacazette again. Inside for Xhaka. Oh, my God. Yes. Shoot. Come on, Alexis. Yes! Oh, my God. Alexis Sanchez. He should be playing for Man City. The deal was pretty much done, apparently, but... Oh my god, he's playing for Arsenal and he has just buried Man City. What a strike this is. Xhaka with the back heel of dreams, but look at the power. Oh, I love those kind of goals where they bounce in off the bar. Guys, we have managed to turn this around despite, I would say, being the worst team. You know, I would say that Man City have been on top this entire game and somehow they're not going to get the win here. I feel kind of relieved but also I'm a little bit stressed out because it was such a cheesy difficult game I just knew it was going to be like this and we might get another chance actually here's Kolasinac and somehow I've still got it okay now I don't that should be it though blow the whistle there we go oh my god what an end to the game Alexis Sanchez take a bow now we're talking guys that has put us one point behind Manchester United and look, again, the top four has changed. Southampton are now in third. West Ham dropping outside of the top five there. Swansea still doing really well. But the thing is, West Ham do have a game in hand, so they can move back into third place. Um, Everton have moved off the bottom of the table on goal difference. They're, well, they've got the same goal difference as Brighton. But Man City drop further into the abyss. They're down in 16th. They've only got three wins from 11 games. I would probably be sacking Pep Guardiola if that happened, but I'm so happy with that result. Oh man, what a goal by uh, by Alexis Sanchez. Right, now we're going to be doing a squad report because I have not done one yet. Um, so let's just go straight through it. Peter Petacek, sorry, not Peter, has gone down by 1 to 85, of course. Uh, Ospina has stayed the same. Bellerin's gone up by 1 to 82. Um, Debushi has stayed. No, he's gone down by 1. Never mind. Uh, Mustafi has stayed the same. Van Dijk's gone up by one. He's been a brilliant signing. So happy with him so far. Koscielny has stayed the same. You can see when they've stayed the same, it says not available. So that's pretty easy to see. Um, Holding has gone up by three. Mertesacker down by one. Bielic has gone up by two. Kolasinac up by one. Uh, Monreal's gone down. Coquelin's gone up by one. That's good. Uh, Maitland-Niles has gone up by one. Nelson up by nine. I mean, <laughs> his stamina has gone up by 20. 14 in his finishing. 20 in his short passing. I mean, he's gone up so quickly. Zalalem up by one there. Wilshire and Ramsey. Xhaka, Goretzka. It won't be up by two, which is really good to see. Uh, anyone else? We've got plus one on Akpom. Same for Giroud and Welbeck. I think that's going to be it. Lacazette has stayed the same, but man, let's see his stats. He's got 15 appearances, seven goals, eight assists. What? That is madness. Let's check the top goal scorers then and the top assisters as well. Let's go right up to the top here. So we have Lacazette and Iwobi. Since when did Iwobi have seven goals? He's clearly done very well in the Europa League, um, including that two goal. Was he, Did he get two goals? I'm pretty sure he got two goals in that game against uh, Ghent. Ozil's got five. Sanchez has got five. Debushi's got two goals. What? How? Oh, honestly, those are clearly, you know, pre-season games, simulator games, whatever they may be. So there we go, guys. That is going to round up this episode. Up next, in fact, let's just do training really quick. See if Nelson can grow up to 69 here. Ha, <laughs> 69. I think he's going to get about halfway. Not even halfway, about a third. Um, it will be a third of the way to 77 as well. But what is our next game? Let's have a look. It's surely going to be a Premier League game. We've got a loan offer there for Chambers. I don't think I want to loan him out. We have... Oh, we can do some more training. Another offer for Debushi. We're going to accept this. Debushi, 5.8 million to Southampton. Let's accept that. It probably won't go through, though, because of his wages. And Chambers... I'm going to block offers. I'm going to keep Chambers for now. I think he's done quite well. I'm not interested in managing an international team. 
Let's do another bit of training while we can. I'm hoping the game against Man United is coming up soon. That's where I really want to test myself, you know. Nelson, again, growing nicely there. Halfway to 69 now. It won't be halfway to 77. Both doing very well. And let's see who our next game is going to be. We get another transfer offer. Let's just keep going here. Oh, it's Tottenham. Okay, we have Tottenham next in the Premier League. Where are they in the league? They're eighth. So they haven't particularly been very good so far this season. So that, that's going to be a tough game for sure. Let's go ahead and accept the offer here for Nikita, however you say his name. Probably won't go through either because of his wages. And let's clear up these emails a little bit. We've got a conversation to look at as well. Francis Coquelin wants to play. To be fair, he should be playing more games. He's done so well for us. Um, but we need to win this next game against Tottenham in the next episode because we're now four points off Man United with a game in hand. So we can reduce that to one point once again. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I'd really appreciate that. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, at OfficialMGH. And I will catch you in the next episode soon.